today we're going to be talking about this. Now, confession. I have already unboxed this and I've already used it and I've shot with it now on two or three different shoots, but this video is going to be the unboxing. Moment, filter in the box, comes out of the box. This is what it says on the back of the thing. It's 82 millimeters because it fits the current lens that I'm using, which is the uh, 24 to 70 from Sigma. And let's open this bad boy up. So open it up with me. Nice little um, emblem there for a moment. Open that sucker up and there's a nice little Karen case. There's a little pad on top and voila. This is the filter. Now what I love about this is the look because you put this, it's got this little red tint on the edge. So when you put it on the lens, it also makes your lenses look more aesthetic. Uh, it doesn't make it look bulky or um, it's not an eyesore, you know. This is a 10% Cine Bloom filter. This company, this particular line has a 20% diffusion and a 10% diffusion. Now, after my research, I didn't want an over-exaggeration, something that was really noticeable. I wanted a slight blooming effect on my highlights, but I didn't want to completely blow out image. And I'm going to put this on and then we'll, uh, you guys will get to see exactly what it looks like because I think it's really neat. So let me put this on and you guys pay attention to the highlights. Um, you'll see there's a light and I put that purposely over my left shoulder, your right hand side of the screen. And I also have my little um, Edison bulb over there. So watch closely as I put the filter on and you'll get to see the difference. Okay, so there you have it. So that's the look, a 10% diffusion filter. Uh, it's not huge, it's not a big difference, but it definitely makes a difference when you compare it, when you contrast it to what your lens would look like without the uh, diffusion filter. So I love this thing gives a layer of protection over my lens. Um, it's a filter in front of my actual glass. So, and again, this is a s moment Cine Bloom 10% filter. And this is the look that you get from it. And personally, I really, really love it. It blooms my highlights. It creates this really um, cinematic look to my um, videos and I definitely recommend it. Now, if you want to go to the 20% where you get more exaggerated effect of the blooming, go ahead. That's your personal choice. It's a personal preference on how you shoot, what you shoot. I do a lot of events. I do a lot of stuff in the gym, so I don't want to completely blow out my highlights. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure you leave a comment. Thank you for joining. And my name is Ilya. My Instagram is ibphotos, so if you haven't checked me out, make sure that you follow me. I'll see you in the next video.